Welcome back golfers, car cam today. Nice to be back out on the course, finally. It's still a bit cold, it's still a bit wet, it's even foggy. But I'm gonna talk you through my shots today. Starting right now with a lash of driver up the left hand side with a bit of fade. Oh, that hurt. Right edge of the fairway maybe? The good thing about this game mode is you, as a viewer, can hold me to account here. So, it's about 100 yards to the flag, just on the front. 52 degree goes 105. So, going straight at it, maybe take a little off it, but I'm just going to grip down a tiny bit. And let's stick it in close, shall we? on a great line, it's disappearing into the mist. I've got a thumbs up from Paul. Yay. Good approach in the end. 10 feet long of the flag, but downhill putt. Pretty straight, maybe right edge. Straight in the middle. Got off to the perfect start. Just one shot at a time though. I've got a four iron here, just want to hit it 210 yards. I'm aiming 10 feet left of the marker post. Just a straight ball fly there. Instead I've hit a slappy fade into the right rough. It's not a great tee shot, but it's actually turned out okay. So we're going flag hunting again. Watch says the pin is 109, playing down to about 100, so it's pretty much the same shot as I hit on the last. So 52 degree in hand. It's just drawn a bit away from the flag. It's about pin high. Good shot, green in regulation. Another birdie putt. I'm actually aiming at Chris's ball, which is about a foot and a half right, slightly uphill. Chris's was slow, so aim to roll it to his ball, pretty much. Oh dear. Aggressive as always. Tapping part. Sweet. Difficult driving hole. I just want the ball coming down inside this tree that's up the right. So a little fade. Aiming five yards left of the marker post. That was very nice indeed. It was much more like it. Tempo was so much better off the tee there. That's a perfect drive. Flag is on the left hand side here. It's 122 yards so I could have tried to muscle a 50 degree but I'm gonna go for a nice smooth pitching wedge. Normally goes 130, so just take a little off it. Well, started right and is going right. That's going to be a long putt, but I think I might be putting at the very least. Well, this is the longest putt on the whole green, I would say. Anything within bin lid distance would be exceptional. It's going to be a bit of left to right, maybe a foot, but I'm just going to have to muller it. That was embarrassing. Try that again. Still a foot of left to right and still a long way uphill. No. Well, that's a very, very frustrating three stab bogey. But never mind. Right, we'll forget about the last. Pin is pretty much straight over this tree, so I'm just going to aim slightly left of it and hit my usual fade off that. Don't need to kill it, just need to hit it well. No, I'm so far behind it. Well, I'll probably be in the fairway, but it's a long way right of target. We're pin high, but 40 yards right of where we want it to be, so... That's how far we've got. Practice these with the sand wedge in the simulator, so it's just a little little hitch. Oh 
didn't quite do that just a little bit short not my best pitch shot there unfortunately I have to eyeball that yardage because my watch is always wrong on this hole for some reason definitely didn't have 65 yards so this puts pretty straight it's going to be slow because this is the wettest green on the course so let's try not to leave it short not got there again left it short too much deceleration on the old put it's not a guster shouldn't be disappointed with a four though Yurky <sighs> cokey way downhill hole 160 yards but playing more like 150 so it's just a smooth a time going straight at it because there's no wind lost that I think it's right edge of the green just a bit of a push okay I'm pin high just right of the green on a slight down slope I've got a pitching wedge I'm just gonna bump this down there get it rolling on the green probably land it three feet on it should be straight roll it in the hole I thinned it but it's worked it hasn't worked. I like semi sculled that with a bit of spin and it seemed to work out okay. Pulling the big dog could have got to the green maybe, but I just do not like that off this tee. So three would it is. Try to hit a draw around the corner. Well, I've drawn it around the corner just too much draw it's far from the perfect three wood but i'm perfectly fine this tree's not really in the way pin is about 55 yards from here so i'm going to land it as far as i can I'm trying to literally land it in the hole because it won't roll 56 degree pulled it distance was spectacular but I pulled it 10 feet interested to know how you as a golfing specialist visualize your shots so I literally look at what I'm trying to do look at the yardage and then actually see the flight of the ball in the air don't know if that works for anybody else but let me know in the comments It'd be interesting okay uphill ever so slightly from the right but I'm not leaving the hole not very good unfortunately in trying to be more aggressive with the stroke i just pulled it and another steady-ish par need kenneth to behave himself here i feel as though hitting driver here will get over all the rubbish on the right so i'm aiming left edge of the green side bunker hitting a fade and if it goes straight that's good too nope that's extremely bad i was going to say hindsight's a wonderful thing and i should hit four iron but it was driver all day somehow got a clear shot it's pretty much a full sandwich it's 82 yards to flag but plays uphill a bit and this goes 88 in the air just go straight at it sit Oh my god, it's massive. So's the divot. Whoops. Well, this shot would be impossible in summer. Fortunately, I have preferred lies so I can place it. And it's soft. Softer than a baby's bottom. So I don't even need to open the club face. It's just going to be a 56 degree. Land it 10 feet short. Yep, I'm delighted. Thank you, Paul. Absolutely got away with one there. More than happy to take a par and get a very wet hand. Well, delighted with a par on the last. Still level somehow. Swing feels a bit iffy, but Kenneth's come out of the bag again. Not entirely sure why. But hopefully, after a good one here, 
there's a line of hedges up to the left hand side and I'm aiming at the corner of those and fading it off them probably not reachable today but neither is the ditch up the right yeah tiny bit right of where I was aiming but it'll be fine all right we're getting there with the big fella I'm in the fairway if I had to guess it's back flag so it's about 62 yards I want to try and fly it as far back there as I can from here sand wedge again a little bit of a down slope so it should come in a tiny bit lower not bad a bit short again can't quite tell from here but I'm putting for bird Quite a lot shorter than I'd hoped, although I didn't realise the flag was literally nearly off the back of the green. Puts again pretty straight up the hill. Just need to get it to a hold really, let's give it a chance. Uh, laid up again. Again, steady pars, but kind of feel like I should be doing better somehow all in one oh, bounced that's a result T's here Chris Grenty called his own hole in one and missed it 50 yards right I've been reliably informed it's 154 yards adjusted so full A time pins just left of centre so I'm going to try and draw this into it I've hit it well. Yeah. Looked like it was drawing in, but then kind of straightened. Okay, very professional approach there. I'm dead centre of the green, putting back down the hill, a bit of right to left. I'm going to roll this in, and then hopefully, if you've enjoyed the video, you'll like it, and then subscribe to the channel to see more epic content. Oh, it's so very wet. Definitely didn't want to bomb that past because it was downhill, but it was never going to be quick. But it's level par, and I've not really played that well. Hope you enjoyed. See you next week for the second nine. Goodbye.